Good afternoon from a wet North Yorkshire here in the UK. Really miserable outside. Uh, just thought I'd do a little video uh, regarding the Lander Defence Mark 48 LMG. Um, as most of the or the only two videos that I've seen regarding this weapon on YouTube are in a foreign language. Um, so I'll do this one in a really broad Yorkshire English. So this Mark 48, yeah, don't ask me what mod it is because there's that many different things. I opted for the uh, solid stock. Uh, you can get a para stock and you can get a collapsible um, M4 type, um, buffer tube type stock for it. Um, this thing weighs an absolute ton. It's about nine point something kilos on the scales when I stand it up on it. With a magazine on it, it's getting near to 10. Uh, it is made predominantly of steel. The twist, the hand, hand pistol grip is plastic. The rear stock is plastic. This little piece on the top here is plastic. The foregrip, which I've added uh, to save my uh, gloves from the wrist rail, which is on the lower bit. Um, <coughs> I've had to add that. And it also gives me some support so I can grab hold of it. <clears throat> if you're a bit like me and you don't like running around too much it's not bad I can just about do a day with it <laughs> it was absolute ton but I like my weapons to be realistic and I you know I know a few people that work in uh, that have been in the forces and they say it's not far off the original it has a carry angle which I do trust there we go it's quite it's quite a sturdy thing you know it's not like some cheap piece of plastic uh, piece of plastic or tin pot met metal uh, the um, bipod at the front is adjustable via a few uh, pins so both legs adjust it is a bit awkward to use with gloves on but I tend to just have it folded back up underneath like so yeah, so we'll open that out because it does get heavy. If you're contemplating having one of these, this is about the first thing that you'll buy a proper strap. Yeah, so that's attached the rear sling point, and I've added a front sling point for this. It's not the best thing in the world, but it does its job. I'm sure there's better ones out there. It comes with a 4,000 round box magazine. Yeah, which these magazines are proprietary. There's a few proprietary parts, meaning that they're specific just to this weapon or um, um, replica. Yeah, this magazine holds about 4,000, 4,000, maybe 5,000 rounds of uh, it's got 0.28 in at the moment um, and they are loaded side. they are all loaded in via this slot here in the magazine I think you can see that so they're all popped into there I have acquired some uh, fake 762 by 51 rounds NATO rounds and what I did where I just arrowed it and fiddled about with it on end here to make them fit I'm sure somebody might be a 3D print something that'll come up um, that'll be a, do a better job. Let me just clip them in. It's more for nasty. It's just to make it look nice, isn't it? So there we go. So LMG comes with adjustable rear iron sights. Yeah, and the standard ring and pin iron sight at the front. The magazine is fed, not via sound, um, but via a rather sturdy, not a really thin piece of wire, but a really sturdy connector. It's a bit difficult to get to with your gloves on, but you know, with a bit of practice, you get there. <coughs> it also I'll just take the magazine off a minute. There we go. It also has a quick change spring. 
I think it's um, I think it's a pretty standard um, M249 gearbox. That's in. I don't know whether you can see that, but it does have a quick change spring in it, and the hop is adjustable from inside when you remove the feet when you lift the feet tray. So the hop's in there. I'll, I'll show you that when when I take the barrel out. So. Excuse me for this, I'm not scripted this, I'm making it up as I go along. So, um, it comes with a wrist rail on top, so if you want to put your favourite optic on, this is an old cam that I have, that I don't, generally I don't use them because I wear glasses and it steams, it tends to steam up. So, but anyway, that's an old cam to make it look realistic. So I'll just rest that on top like that. Uh, so you can fit any sight you want, it magnifiers, red dot, whatever you want, the favourite sight you can go on there. Or, like me, you can just use a standard iron sight. Yeah. So, the barrel assembly comes off. Battery case. I run the 2600 milliamp nunchuck battery in there. And it runs all day for me my thing the um hop up adjustment is proprietary so a bull gear one does not fit by all accounts what i've done to make this one better is i've made the hop arm <coughs> thicker and then sanded it down so it doesn't move about i've also fitted a macron and amiga nub a macron booking and amiga nub and a 430 type bar barrel for what it is to try and reduce the amount of spread because the standard barrel did have a lot of spread on it I've also swapped out on this, I've put SHS internals because the air seal on the original piece on this, on this one of mine was absolutely rubbish. I've also changed the nozzle, I've got a brass nozzle out of my spares, but M4 nozzle out of my spares box and turned it down to fit because the plastic nozzle on this is proprietary as well. At some point in the future I'm going to swap it out to a warhead base motor and change some other things and put some higher quality things in it. So, I've got a battery, it's dry fire, there's no magazine, no pellets in it. It sounds, there you go, rocks about seven, 750 rounds a minute on my Scortec Protec, uh, Chrono. And this, with a M90 spring in it, is running 280 FPS, which is about my sight's legal limit for uh, just under my safe limit for uh, 0.28 at 280 fps okay so i hope that's fine and i hope it explains it i am on facebook and 249 owners um page uh you can message me on there any questions any further questions anything i've not covered but this thing is metal and aluminium it's fantastic Makes a really good door, door, door stop, <laughs> jack for your car, whatever. But everything, most of it is steel, apart from, like I say, a stock pistol grip, this top guard here, and a couple of bits that I've put on. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, I hope you see you out on the field if you're by me. Take care.